Welcome to Business Live. I'm Mark Crossfree. In BL tonight, first up, we got the behemoth, one of the biggest conglomerates on the stock exchange, Panjam Investments. Declaring no dividend here, though. Um, lots of shareholders will take this probably negatively or badly, but you know, it's a reality of COVID right now. The pandemic, the board met on August 12th. 2020 and has declared that there'll be no dividend uh, coming out of that board meeting. Next up on Business Life tonight, we got Jamaican Tees. In this case now, you're getting a nice dividend here. So Jam Tees, that's a ticker symbol, uh, declaring a dividend. The meeting was held on August 11, 2020, and the directors declared a nice dividend here. Now, Lasco Financial, um, having a tough time as well, you know, in terms of probably impairments or credit provisions, you know, let's be specific, and their results, we carried that, you know, on a previous Business Life, but in this case, now a notice of their AGM, that's the annual general meeting. So the AGM is scheduled for September 29th, 2020 at 9 a.m. at Nutsford Court Hotel. Honeybun, you know, company really grown over the years. Uh, this is Honeybun 1982 Limited. So it's a pretty fair third quarter and nine months results. You know, these are in one here. So gross revenues fared well despite COVID-19. We keep saying that, you know, you know, falling to 367 million Jamaican dollars you know, versus 394 million Jamaican dollars. So they held up pretty well. You know, earnings per share in the other case, you know, flat at four cents per share versus four cents per share. And this is a June quarter. On an absolute basis, which is what you really want to focus on for the quarter, 20.2 million Jamaican dollars versus 16.6 .6 million Jamaican dollars. So although it's four cents per share, four cents per share on an absolute basis, a little bit better, you know, almost four million Jamaican dollars. So that's, that's not bad results. You know, it doesn't go into it in detail in the management discussion analysis, but probably Honeybun, you know, catering to the schools and so forth. You know, schools haven't been, you know, in play or at play, probably hurting the revenues uh, there. But the, but the period before this, you know, excellent for Honeybun. So we'll see how the rest of the year looks. Now for Caribbean Assurance Brokers here, that's ticker symbol CAB, recently listed, you know, probably still getting their act together, but second, you know, consecutive quarter here of losses. So this is the, the, the second quarter. And then also if you compare that to the first quarter, so two running quarters of consecutive losses, not huge, but they got to get that corrected going forward. So revenues now, you know, you know, falling a, a, a tad bit, 69.5 million Jamaican versus 73 million Jamaican year over year. But the loss, you know, when you look at just the first quarter, quarter you're talking about 8.8 .8 million Jamaican and in year to date 13.44 million Jamaican so just listed you know you they want to kind of get that changed up hopefully for the second half of the year they'll get this into the positive territory you know for insurance brokerage listed company you know cab Caribbean insurance brokers I'm Mark Crossgrave this is Business Life